Today I'm going to demo a few features in local workspaces for Team Foundation Server. So I'm going to start off with just a little sample project I've got here, a little console application and just a file here, program.cs. And the first thing I'd like to demo is just the friction-free development that we have for local workspaces. So uh, as, with I, as I can with any other project inside Visual Studio, I can you know, go ahead and edit this file. This is a comment. And you probably notice as soon as I started editing, I get the pending change showing up here in the pending changes window. Um, you know, now, you know, nothing special there. This is this would work the same as it always has inside um, Team Audition Server. But what's different with local workspaces, let me undo that change. Okay, I can actually go down here to Source Control Explorer. Um, you know, I got these files here on disk that I can that I can modify. And actually, let me go ahead and do it from the command line. Um, start with a fresh command window here, Notepad, and I can edit Program CS and Notepad. Um, I'm going to make a little change here. This is a comment. And watch, I'm going to go ahead and file save this file. And, and notice no nasty messages around, hey, this file is read only or anything like that. Um, that's because the, the, the difference here with local workspaces, we're tracking all this information locally. We don't need to go to the server to, um, to ask why, uh, you know, to ask to check this file out. Um, you also probably notice as soon as I saved the file, it updated over here in my pending changes page. Um, you know, that's, that's keeping a list of the, the changes that I'm making. Um, so as soon as I saved that file, uh, that was considered an edit, and Team Foundation Server is now tracking that, that edit. Uh, if I run TF status, you'll be able to see that here as well. The program CS was edited. Um, if I, you know, go ahead and reload that file so I can see that comment that I made here. Um, so, you know, very, very cool. You can edit, you know, files inside, outside of VS, wherever you want, with any kind of editor you want. Uh, no need to go ahead and check that file out beforehand. Uh, another very cool feature that we have is what we call automatic change detection. Um, and if I go back, um, you know, here to the file system that where this my workspace is mapped, and I go ahead and add a new file, uh, if you watch, as soon as I add this, this detected changes showed up over here. So let me, let me call this file.txt, um, and we'll go and explore and see what that is. So. If I look here, detected changes is just a link inside my pending changes page. Um, I can actually see, hey, look, this is an ad that was detected um, by, by Team Foundation Server. Um, I can just as easily then say, hey, promote that ad. And now that file that I added on disk is recognized by TFS as, hey, this is something that we want to add and check in eventually. Um, you know, very similarly, I can go ahead here and I can actually delete a file. So if I go to this app config, say, you know what, I don't, I don't really want to check that in any further. Uh, I can click delete. You can see detected changes is updated again. I can go over here and say yes, I actually do want to promote that delete from the disk to be a, you know, as we would call it, a TF delete. And you can see the pending change shows up in uh, Search Control Explorer and pending changes page. Um, another very cool feature with the with the detected changes in particular. So let me let me undo that delete on app config, um, and I'll go back down to the disk here. Uh, and say now, say that wasn't an intentional delete, but unintentional rather. So maybe I was cleaning up some, um, you know, some build junk, and I accidentally deleted one of my important files as well. So notice that, you know, again, that's not showing up as an intentional delete, but it's showing up here as my detected changes. Um, now I could go to that dialog and restore it from there, but we also will restore that with a get operation. So if I click here on the folder and say get latest, you'll notice that that file gets restored. The detected change went away. And it's back here on disk. Um, so, so a couple of very cool features around how automatic change detection works um, with local workspaces. Um, one of the last things I'm going to demo here is is how this works, you know, when you're offline. So, uh, I've been editing all these things, and my server is up in the background, you know, browsing in Source Control Explorer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead um, and undo these changes, just so we can kind of start fresh here. So I've got you know, the file as I started off with. Let me go over to my VM here and do reset slash stop. So let me go ahead and stop that server, stop the server, switch back over here to Visual Studio. Uh, and, and this program CS, I can just go ahead and start editing again. Um, and you know, and this time I'm offline and it didn't require any call to the server, so I didn't have any delay at all in my editing. Um, you know, save that file. I can continue working with anything that I had open. Um, 
now what's really cool is you can do you know all the normal add, edit, rename, delete, all those things offline. Um, plus things like compare, right? So I can I can go ahead and get a diff of of this file. And I can see um, see that change. I mean, you know, a little sneak peek of the diff tool that we have here coming as well. Um, but so I can see that that was that edit I made, and I can do all of this you know while I'm disconnected. Um, if I go ahead. Well, here you go, I get a message that says, finally, hey, we can't connect to the server, but notice it doesn't hamper me from actually working with my files. I still get all those commands that I, I would normally be able to do, um, although Source Control Explorer shows up in a disconnected state now. Um, but uh, the, the other thing I want to show is that I can actually undo offline as well. Uh, and both the, the diff and undo operations are available offline because we're maintaining a cache of those files in your local workspace. Um, so just you know, one last thing here I'll show. Well, let me put another edit back here. Um, uh, just to show the kind of experience of coming back online. Save that file. And do an IS reset. Start the server back up again. So we'll be able to see that come back up in a second here. And so I switch back over to Visual Studio, uh, go back here, hit refresh on my Source Control Explorer, and wait for a second for that my server to spin back up again there. Uh, so back online, my pending changes are still there. And notice I didn't have any nasty, hey, I need to come back online experience. It all just works seamlessly. Um, so hopefully that was a good demonstration of everything that we've, or a bunch of the key features we have coming for local workspaces um, in Team Foundation Server Next.